Hey, hey, hey! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and today is the day. You can see my cake behind me and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to assemble all those flowers I'm using wafer paper on a cake and how to arrange it and create this beautiful design. But before we get started, we need to talk about a few things. First and most important, I'm working on a dummy cake, so it means I do need to protect my flowers and make sure it's food safe. If you're working on a real cake and you're going to insert your wires into your cake, make sure that you use a bubble tea straw or a coffee stir, something that allow you to do this safely and your wire should never touch a cake or any edible material. My personal preference is to use a safety seal. This is a wax substance. All you need to do is you need to cover your stem with the floral tape and then when it's taped and protected you need to melt this in a microwave, insert your taped stem in this wax and let it come to room temperature because you can see it's relatively hard at room temperature and it will protect your flowers and your wires from interfering with your cake. And also let's talk about tools I'm going to use again because I'm working on a dummy cake that means it is, it's a styrofoam. I will need an owl or something to poke my styrofoam and fund them to insert my flowers and also I'm going to use just a basic set of tools. My favorite pair of scissors if I need to cut my flowers and make maybe adjust some petals, wire cutters and a set of needle nose pliers where I need to adjust position of my flowers. So let's get started. So now is the fun part. Let's arrange our flowers. Today I'm going to use this David Austin wafer paper rose from my wafer paper academy and I'm going to put the link down below and you can see it's still soft and flexible and this is going to be my statement flower. And I'm going to use this butterfly ranunculuses. These are my favorite flowers to add and I have them in different colors. I have in, in this white shade and this light pink shade. They are going to be great filler flowers for my arrangement. Also, I made this sweet peas. These are wafer paper sweet peas. And leave me a comment down below if you want me to make a tutorial how to make this. Because color palette for our arrangement is light pink, ivory, and blue. I have light blue accents on this sweet pea. And you can see these are straight. I didn't flex them yet because I don't know how my arrangement is going to go. I do have a few other pieces of foliage but let's get started. First thing, I'm going to start with my signature flower. This is David Austin Rose and keep in mind I'm working with a styrofoam cake so I would need to use an owl or something to poke through the fondant and styrofoam so I can insert my flowers. And when designing an arrangement or making an arrangement on a cake, I start with the largest flower or with the flower I want it to be most visible. So here this is my wafer paper David Austin rose and I'm going to cut my wire so I know that I like the placement and I want this flower to be on the side of my cake and a little bit on an edge of a flower on an angle so I'm going to cut a wire roughly this much because I wanted to make sure that I can keep it stable in my styrofoam so this is my first flower. I'm going to put it in to see what foliage or greenery I needed to place around. I just wanted to get a general idea to start assembling my arrangement. So something like this. I think this is going to look nice on a final cake. And because this flower is very large, I wanted to offset my arrangement and I wanted my foliage to go on the side. Now that I have my general placement for a flower, you can see 
it sits on the side a little bit forward because I want everything, all the foliage and branches to serve as a background to bring all attention to this flower. So my first foliage, I have eucalyptus. These are sugar paste, uh, gum paste eucalyptus because I already had it on hand. So that's what I'm going to use. And to insert this into my cake, I'm going to poke a hole just a little bit behind where uh, placement for my David Austin rose and I'm going to start building the background for my flower. So another piece of eucalyptus opposite to the first one. My general idea at this point is to make this arrangement in a triangular shape and I'm trying to place my greenery, my eucalyptus in a triangular shape as well. And I wanted to make sure that my flowers are securely placed on the cake. That's why I'm using a needle nose pliers to insert this foliage into my styrofoam. Then I'm going to think about the placement for my butterfly ranunculuses. And I wanted to create a movement and lightness in this arrangement. That's why I'm inserting this double butterfly ranunculus arrangement a little bit behind my eucalyptus because I wanted to cover up those wires but that's the general idea how I'm building my arrangement. I know that shape is going to be a triangular on the side. I know the placement for my signature flower David Austin rose. Now I'm placing my butterfly ranunculuses to frame place where my David Austin rose is going to be. And I have four of this butterfly ranunculuses here on this side and I have another one with the foliage I wanted to place a little bit behind because when I'm making an arrangement I'm trying to think that it's supposed to look beautiful from all sides. And now when I'm placing my David Austin rose here it looks like I have too many of these ranunculuses and it just looks too busy and I wanted my David Austin rose to be as a star flower or signature flower for this arrangement. So it's totally fine to place flower, to remove a flower, just play around and see what you prefer. I do like my arrangement at this point. I have enough foliage, butterfly and ankles, dedicated and rose, and you can see it spreads down the styrofoam tier, so it's not as heavy as it looks because it's wafer paper. But I don't want it to stop here, even though it looks pretty nice. Now I wanted to fill all these holes and build my arrangement to be really a show show-stopping arrangement. To do that, I'm going to use my sweet pea. These are wafer paper sweet peas and because I'm going for a specific like offset triangular shape on my cake I wanted to build this with lighter foliage like sweet peas, branches and something that can sit on the side of the cake and not make it look heavy. So first I'll start with my uh, relatively long sweet pea branch. I'm going to flex it and put all these flowers on one side. I wanted to add some movement to my arrangement and that's another way to do that. And I'm just measuring roughly how long I need my wire to be to securely place it in my cake and I'm going to poke another hole with an owl behind my flowers and insert my sweet pea. And I have another piece with a smaller number of flowers. I wanted to offset my arrangement. And that's the general idea how I build my flower arrangements on a cake. I know the shape. So as I already told you, it's going to be a triangular, offset triangular on the side of my cake between second and third tier. And now I'm working flower by flower. So first was my foliage eucalyptus, then I placed my butterfly ranunculuses. Now I'm placing my sweet peas and I'm keeping in mind the shape I'm going for. So you can see here, it already started to look like a triangular. But for me, visually, personally, I see that this eucalyptus branch sits a little bit too low and it's barely visible. So I wanted to use my pliers and pull it up. And now it serves a better purpose and better darker background for my David Austin rose. So I do like it a little bit better. 
don't be afraid to move your foliage, to move your flowers, especially if you have a styrofoam cake. It's so much easier to place it first without worry and without thinking if you are going to like it or not. And then remove and uh, shape the way you need or the way this arrangement is going. And here again for my... Eucalyptus I'm using another branch because my eucalyptus branches are dark green color and when I've had only two of those it didn't look right visually for me because it was just like a straight line diagonally. And now for the other place where it looks a little bit too empty I can either use this rose leaves or I have these berries in a blue color because color scheme for the arrangement is light pink, blue and ivory. And I have this blue accents and you can see I didn't need to use another piece of green foliage with this blue branches. It brings attention because the intensity of color is the same. So this shade or saturation of this blue color is the same saturation as my eucalyptus branches and that's why I can use them interchangeably on this arrangement and I have a few smaller branches with these berries I'm going to put them behind and the same rule applies here I keep in mind that I'm going for a triangular shape and I'm trying to maintain an offset triangular for my arrangement I do like this shape I do like the variation of my flowers. I have three main flowers, the Austin Rose, Butterfly, Ranunculus, and Sweet Pea. But right here in this place, you can tell that I have a hole and I can see my cupboard behind this cake. I wanted to add something like a smaller Sweet Pea branch or maybe bring back this um, Butterfly, Ranunculus in pink color. And I don't know, I still haven't decided because the pink color is the same color as my David Austin Rose. But maybe I can place it like a little bit behind or another sweet pea. I think a sweet pea will bring more variation to this arrangement. And all I need to put it behind my David Austin Rose. Like that. I do like the color combination here with sweet pea and butterfly ranunculuses. So now I can move my flowers and step away for a second to decide if I wanted to add more branches because I have another long branch of the sweet pea flowers. Or I have two of these butterfly ranunculuses. I think I can either place them on the side or on below my David Austin Rose. But I decided to stop here and I'm going to add my dry branches. So looking like dry branches, this made out of floral tape, wire and wafer paper leaves. I have this tutorial in my uh, inside my wafer paper academy. And I love using these branches because they give give your beautiful shape and movement without being heavy and almost without spending any time on making this. So I'm going to insert one branch here and another larger one behind my sweet pea, behind my arrangement, because these branches are the last step and you can see how my flowers placed on the side of my cake. So you can tell that I have two stems in one spot and this is the farther away spot from my David Austin Rose. And keep in mind, if your cake is going to be seen from the opposite side, I would rather suggest you to place another flower or something to hide your stems from the back as well. And now I'm going to add another branch. I'm cutting wire on an angle so it's easier to insert and I wanted to place it behind my berries and be behind my sweet peas on the side because as uh, you know I'm going for a triangular arrangement and I need to make sure I have enough branches and enough foliage to make my triangular really visible and visually strong. And here you can see if I'm taking another branch and thinking about placing it on the side, it almost makes it look like a square and I don't want to do that. I wanted to keep my shape and this triangular. 
I'm going to add another piece of eucalyptus to frame my David Austin rose and I wanted to keep it light here on the side where I can see my cake arrangement being placed on a cake and all this wispy branches and sweet peas are just a background for my signature flower. Also I can add a few smaller branches with lighter leaves to fill some gaps I see between my flowers and to give it another dimension in color. So here is my final arrangement. I really like the placement of my flowers. I love how bold it looks. And even from the side, it looks relatively bold and interesting and dimensional. And I only poked a few holes to put my flowers together and insert them into a cake. And I prefer to work on a styrofoam cakes. Even if I'm making a real cake, I would add another layer with styrofoam to make sure I can safely insert all my flowers. And now you can see my cake. And you know how to arrange those flowers on a cake and how to put everything together. I hope you like this tutorial. And if you do, please share with your friends. We all need to learn a little bit more how to work with wafer paper and create beautiful lifelike flowers and modern cake designs. And I'll see you next week on this channel. My name is Anna Stashkina. Bye-bye.